Welcome back to Reggie Beats Media and today we are on part 2 of how to make an e-commerce music website which you can use to sell your beats or sell music. On the previous video we have set up our domain hosting and WordPress and if you haven't done that yet the link is in the description below. On this video today we are going to be setting up our theme and installing some plugins that are going to be required for us to start. So hit that sub button if you want to learn more and let's get it. Okay, cool. So first thing first now, I'll just go through this menu. So on this side, this is the menu you're going to be using the most to edit and create most of our website. So here's the dashboard. That's where you get the updates, you know, the announcements. Posts is your blog posts. Media is your files, mp3s, pictures. Pages is the pages for a website. Comments is comments on your pages or beads or products. Appearance is where we change how the website looks. Plugins is where we add extra functionality to the website. Users is where we manage the users. Tools, just some extra tools for WordPress. We'll still go through all of these things. I'm just going through them now. The all in one plugin migration, you might not see it if you didn't install using Hostinger because Hostinger has this plugin as default. So you might not see that settings and more. So now we're going to start by going to settings first and you're going to go to permalinks. And then here by permalinks, we'll go to select post name. So if your permalink structure is by custom structure, it makes it easy to create a URL. The URL of your file will just consist of your post name. So just click on save after doing that. Okay, great. Now you're going to go to plugins, go to install plugins. So you're going to remove all the plugins that we have here at first. So we already have some that are deactivated. You can just click on delete because we want to start from, uh, from afresh. But then you might not have all these plugins, then that's fine. It's going to wait for me to delete. And I'm going to select everything now and deactivate them first because you have to deactivate before you delete. The other ones are already deactivated. So click on apply to deactivate and select everything again. Click on delete then apply. Alright, cool. Now we have a fresh start now. Everything is deleted. Now we're going to start by installing our theme and installing the required plugins for us to design. So we're going to go to appearance. Go to themes. You can see we already have three themes and the more themes you have, the most gonna impact your storage. So we have to delete all these themes that you're not gonna use. So this one, I'm gonna select on theme details, then click on delete at the corner. Then you're gonna select on this one, theme details too, click on delete. Okay, cool. Now you only have this one left, but you can't delete it unless you add a new one. Now you're gonna go click on add new. And then you're gonna look for hello elemental if you don't see hello elemental you can search for it it will appear it's very easy now click on install then activate okay now our hello elemental theme is installed you can delete this theme theme details delete We're deleting the 2023 these are the default themes okay now i got the hello elemental theme installed now I need to go and install Elementor, which is the plugin that we're going to be using to design our website. So I click on install Elementor. Okay, click on activate plugin. Okay, cool. So now we just need to go through this process to set up our website, the details, the logos and everything. So. You can either connect your account or you can skip it. For now, I'm gonna skip it. And then site name, my site name is M Roger Beats. You can also put your site name, click next. The image, if you have already have a logo, you can just select it here. Uh, but I don't have a logo now. I'll add it as we go by. So I'm gonna click on skip. Okay, cool. Now we are good to go. So the next step is to start designing. So we're going to choose between these two. Either we're going to go from a edit a blank canvas with the Elementor editor or we're going to import the template. On this video, we're going to be doing it from scratch. So we're going to create a new one, but we'll just skip and then we'll do it on the next part. So just click on skip. Okay, cool. So now if you get this, then it means that your Elementor has installed. Then you can just close it for now. Then close that as well. And then you're going to go to the menu. Just click on exit, uh, decide later. We don't want to save anything now. We're just installing the Elemento. Then close this as well. 
then click on the w so we can go back to our wordpress dashboard admin so we're gonna go to plugins click on install plugins now we know our elementor is installed and our theme is installed so this is what we need to get started i'm gonna end this video here i'm gonna see you on the next one where we're gonna start designing the header